Hello, welcome. I'm Mike Fetters. I'm a professor in the Department of Family Medicine at the University of Michigan. I'm also the co-director of the Michigan Mixed Methods Research and Scholarship Program. I'm also the co-chief editor of the journal Mixed Methods Research. Okay, so we're going to talk about the Mixed Methods Research Integration Trilogy and its dimensions. I think you're going to find this really interesting and very new. So the key to achieving greater value in mixed methods research is the notion of integration. The idea of integration previously was largely taken to mean just bringing together of the qualitative and the quantitative findings and then achieving a more comprehensive meaning or understanding. In our editorial in the Journal of Mixed Methods Research with my co-author Jose Francisco Molina Azorin, we introduced the Mixed Methods Research Integration Trilogy and its dimensions. In the editorial, we define integration in the context of mixed methods research as the linking of qualitative and quantitative approaches and dimensions together to create a new whole or a more holistic understanding than achieved by either alone. Over the past three decades, a mixed method tsunami has been moving across the globe as researchers of all backgrounds have been discovering modern mixed methods research. While researchers in many fields have used qualitative and quantitative procedures together for centuries, modern mixed methods differs because it's referring to the development of systematic approaches and rhetoric that allows researchers to share common procedures and language across many disciplines. I'm going to deviate a minute just to talk about how mixed methods research is a very simple idea. Mixed methods researchers unite the strengths of both qualitative and quantitative research. Previously, with my colleague Don Freshwater, we summarized this as the equation of 1 plus 1 equals 3. That is, when you bring together the qualitative approach 1 with the quantitative approach 1, mixed methods researchers strive to achieve a sum of 3, something greater than the value of the individual parts. So the mixed methods trilogy helps us advance this thinking. And how it does that? The mixed methods integration trilogy symbolizes and extends more comprehensively how all dimensions of the mixed methods research approach can be integrated. The philosophical, methodological, and methods comprise the three key aspects of the mixed methods research trilogy. The mixed methods research integration trilogy provides an overarching conceptualization of how mixed methods researchers can then mix both qualitative and quantitative traditions in a systematic way. We define the integration trilogy as an overarching concept that includes all dimensions where philosophers, ethicists, methodologists, applied researchers, and other academicians can consider in a meaningful way mixed methods approaches at the philosophical, methodological, and methods level to inform an all-encompassing mixed methods research approach. Now, to illustrate this for you conceptually, we use a triangle with the three sides of the philosophical, methodological, and methods, with integration located centrally as shown in the figure. The philosophical side of the triangle denotes the system of thought and theoretical underpinnings about the nature of reality, also referred to technically as ontology. It also involves knowledge, also known as epistemology, and values, axiology. Thus far, mixed methods researchers have conceptualized no less than five philosophical stances that justify using mixed methods research. These include pragmatism, participatory transformative, critical realism, postmodernism, and dialectical pluralism. Dialectical pluralism stands unique among these stances as it justifies the use of different philosophical stances in a single mixed methods research study. 
So we've talked about the philosophical, now we want to talk about the methodological side of the triangle. This signifies the principles and underlying theory and system of methods used for conducting mixed methods research. Finally, in addition to the philosophical and the methodological, is the method side of the triangle. And this refers to the procedures, techniques, approaches, and skills used to conduct mixed methods research. In sum, the Mixed Methods Trilogy expands thinking about integration as not just a technique for combining data collection and analysis, but it's an overarching concept for the Mixed Methods approach. When discussing integration in the context of mixed methods research, the final lesson is for you as a mixed methods researcher to be specific about the particular dimension when you refer to integration. Now, for more about integration through the philosophical, methodological, and methods dimensions, consider watching some of our other video abstracts about the Mixed Methods Research Integration Trilogy and its dimensions. I would like to thank my co-editor, Jose Francisco Molina Azorin, who I co-authored this editorial with. And I would also like to acknowledge my colleagues at the Michigan Mixed Methods Program, the co-director of, of the Mixed Methods Program, Dr. John Creswell, and other mixed methodologists serving on our program executive committee, Jane Foreman, Tim Guterman, Arden Morris, and Sarah Warburg. If you would like further information about conducting mixed methods research, contact us at the Michigan Mixed Methods Program. Our web address is at www.mixedmethods.org. Thanks and good luck in your mixed methods adventures.